What I'm hoping today, since we have heat finally, I'm going to catch up on some WAN show and I'm going to attack this mess. So this area has always been an afterthought. I keep piling stuff up. I did good with the pegboards, but then everything just became a mess. So I'm going to do cubbies here to hold all my consumables and then I want to do some shelves back there so I can put some tooling up on it kind of like cold storage I'm not sure I've got some brackets so we'll see how it works out here Well, there we go. Not bad. A lot better than it was. Got some stuff up into cold storage. This is all my gear for the lathe. Uh, all my bits and stuff. The like, gear are really, really heavy. These are um, cutoffs, like all different high speed steel, and you name it. So, having that up out of the way is nice. My drills, it's not optimal up here, but I kind of like it. More bench space. It's at a premium here. Uh, drill press all set with a unibit so that I can just use it because I, the more it gets buried, the less I use it. And the more apt I am to be stupid with a hand drill when I should be using a press. And all these containers that you can't see. All these containers came out good. Dollar store specials. I think these were dollar store too. I went and looked for more, but I couldn't find them. All my vacuum stuff tags for when I'm tagging equipment um, when I know I'm not going to be back to it for a long time. My memory is not that good because I have too many damn projects. And yeah, my tray that I work off of, my ultrasonic cleaner plugged back in because I haven't been using it because it wasn't plugged in and heated. Uh, this has got uh, antifreeze stuff in it, which is basically washer fluid and some um, biodegradable cleaner and yeah happy with everything my stockpile dollar store for these uh, i don't use super glue often enough i keep it goes hard so these little containers are perfect for a buck and a quarter they work great and this five minute epoxy is good stuff it actually works great for the price it's one of the few things that i think is still a good deal around here lately glue hot air and wancho and yeah, it's been a good morning. I'm liking this. Not bad. Back to the makerspace, guys. A little tip today. Uh, I've been practicing on my machining, and the hard part is getting stock. Uh, metal is expensive, so I visited my local machine shop to ask them what they had for offcuts. 20 bucks got me this, and that is a screaming deal. So uh, if you were to order this stuff online, it's crazy expensive. But uh, yeah, if you're into learning to make things like me, well, uh, other options out there, like local shops. And uh, these did come from Amazon. I finally got myself some machinist blocks and my good old dial indicator. I tuned it up and yeah cheapest possible machinist hammer. It's not even a machinist hammer, but it's good for uh, centering stuff up in the chuck. Cool, eh? Fun day today. We're in for a winter storm coming, and uh, they're saying it's supposed to be one of the worst that we've seen yet. 
Okay, it's a couple of days to Christmas, and you guys saw me make these before. What we've got is the box that I put together for my wife, and what I'm thinking is we'll do a little tissue paper in here. And this is one of her Christmas gifts, but it's the one that I made. Not a very artistic person, so I'll do my best here. I always have good ideas what might look good and then it ends up being wrong. But I think I did pretty good on these. So what we made are these key tags for her website. And more of these. They turned out quite nice, I think. And I'll just lay them all out in here, and then also what we made, we made our whole bunch of nice pens that came out pretty good as well, I think. These were all done on uh, my laser cutters, and uh, the X-Tool M1 does a really good job on this kind of stuff, so pretty happy with it. Check out the review video if you didn't see it. I really like how these ones came out. Quite nice, I think. Definitely um, hard to get stuff like this to have it made. Like, you could order it from like Vistaprint or something, but it would cost a fortune. And I don't know whether the quality would be as good. Like, I made these by hand, and any that weren't really uh, nice in the end, I turfed. So. Um, the quality is pretty good. I don't know. Anyway, now I've seen a little bit of inside. I also engraved a, um, a knife for her, for, for her uh, work with her horses. She, uh, I think she'll like this stuff. There. Looks like I got the amounts just about right. Nice little treasure chest. It's just a dollar store box that I stained, but I thought it might be a nice thing to nice thing to have to contain them, not just like a gift bag or whatever, and some place for her to keep them ongoing so she can hand them out and promote her business, which is really cool. She does a really good job. Um, she's heavily educated when it comes to canine uh, nutrition and health problems, so check it out. Merry Christmas.